Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On and another edition of 7 O'Clock Spurs. Some team news has come in from Mopo today for the Carabag game tomorrow night. Uh, Moussa Dembele, Danny Rose and Kyle Walker do not travel with the team. I think that's a good idea resting them, especially the fullbacks because they get up and down so much and it's best to have them at full 100% for the Chelsea game. Uh, also Eric Lamella is still out with a muscle strain that he picked up on Argentinian national duty. Some interesting points are uh, with this team news, nine of the uh, 24 odd players going are academy graduates. In fact, it might even be more than that. Uh, and uh, most fascinating for me is that Cameron Carter Vickers makes his first travel with the team. Whether he'll get into the squad or not for the Carabag game, I don't know, but he's highly talked about this youth player, Cameron Carter Vickers. He's an American uh, youth player centre back. People talking about him potentially as the next Ledley King. Let's see if he gets any game time tomorrow against Carabag. In other news, Ryan Mason has done an interview with Sky Sports where he says that he wants to become one of England's best midfielders. He says, and I quote, I'm working hard to get there and I'm confident of my ability. Now, Ryan is only 24. It's hard, to, it's uh, easy to forget that sometimes. He's only 24 years old. He's been around for a good few years on loan at other clubs and then really coming through last year, starting with that goal against Forest in the Capital One Cup and then just pushing on all season. I have to say, I think he's an unbelievable player for Spurs to have. Yeah, he might not always be the first name on the team sheet, but when it comes to injuries like we've or suspensions like we've got this week, Mason coming in for Deli Alley would be no problem at all for me. And I really do think he can push on. He's been in England squads, he's won England caps. I think he's a great player for Spurs to have. You know, Tottenham fan, Tottenham through and through. Let's keep the guy, let's see how far he can go. Final bit of news today, the Belgian midfielder Axel Witzel has said that he would rather, well he said, rumours are, that he has said that he would rather come to Tottenham Hotspur than go to the other interested club in him at the moment and that is AC Milan, the, the fallen giant of Italian football, now lower in the pecking order than Spurs. If I was Axel Witzel, I'd want to come to Spurs too. Let's face it, we've got the Belgian contingent, uh, we've only got one defensive midfielder who's a, a genuine defensive midfielder and that's Eric Dyer. Axel can come in from Zenit St. Petersburg, come and play in the English League, which is what a lot of these players want to do anyway. The only thing that I think makes it not that likely is that he must be on a lot of money at Zenit. They've got oil money, haven't they, over in Russia. And also, Zenit don't need to sell, do they? So whether it'll happen or not, there were rumours that it would happen at the end of August at the transfer window. It didn't quite, but I would love Axel Witzel to come to Spurs. He's a top player, he's been a top player for years the more the merrier as far as I'm concerned. Anyway guys, let me know if you agree or disagree or what you think of those points in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on you Spurs. And just the amount that we were replenishing the ball and starting again, probing, probing, probing. From the first minute, like the first 20 minutes, it was a big